Hello and welcome again to Binary News, your daily dose of focused gaming news. Myself, Amata, today is the 30th of July and this time I bring you some news regarding Titanfall as Respawn has given some details on a game update for the title, namely Game Update 5, which will include some new features and tweaks for the PC and Xbox One versions of the game. Now, this feature will be basically headlined by the introduction of the black market, which I have detailed in a previous video, so if you want to get the full lowdown of what the black market entails, just search on this channel for black market or Titanfall black market or something like that, and it should appear as I did do it not too long ago, about a week or so ago, if I remember correctly. Now, the main tweak for the PC guys, this is probably going to make quite a few of you quite happy, is that support for multi GPUs have been added. So basically if you have an SLI or Crossfire setup, the second GPU will now actually be able to be used and there have been frame rate optimizations across both platforms. Now naturally I'm going to go through the full details with you here, but I just wanted to give you first what I thought were the two key port, uh, parts rather of this particular update. Now, as for new features which will apply to both the Xbox One and the PC, we have the Black Market, of course, daily challenges where you can collect three new daily challenges every day, and you can have a total of nine active daily challenges at any one time. Now, they've also moved the campaign game mode in with the other existing game modes and will rotate through all maps over and over, and then you can join at any point. I've also added a message when a friendly pilot with the flag jumps in your Titan and CTF and there will be now a Gen 1 image which will show up for Gen 1 players in all menus. Now there is one thing that is Xbox One only and that is achievements for the Frontiers Edge DLC and then of course we have the multi-GPU support for the PC versions and Respawn have given credits to NVIDIA for helping them out so big thank you to NVIDIA and to Respawn for adding multi-GPU support. Now, on to the bug fixes, and there are quite a few of, them, few of them here, rather. So, I'm just going to go with them here. And, quote, of course. Fixed Titan to cars showing up repeatedly. Removed pre-lobby after selecting a game mode. Now you'll be taken directly to the game lobby. Made Wi-Fi hacking counts towards Spectre leeching for stats, challenges, insignias. Fix an issue where you could earn enough XP that would appear to wrap around and reset your level. Nuclear eject fixed a rare bug where an invincible title would be left roaming around the level because the player died upon ejecting. Lots of bandwidth optimization as well as various delicious frame rate optimizations have been lovingly handcrafted and squeezed into the game. Fixed case of being smushed into a solid wall while rodeoing and being unable to shoot through the titan. Fixed many cases of incorrect or missing impact sounds from explosions including arc cannon fire and cluster rockets. Fixed a server issue when players use rematch, the rematch burn card in areas where they would get stuck. Fixed a case of getting a double lock on with the archer. Fixed an annoying case of the party chat icon not appearing. Fixed a case where parties could be split up. Fixed tax text overlap on controller layout menu. Fixed some kills slash events not counting towards progress on challenges, achievements or decals. And then we have a couple of um, bug fixes purely for the PC as I have put a fix for the 100, for 120 and 144 hertz monitors and they'll be basically now use the desktop refresh rate for max fps when vsync is disabled or when in windowed mode and fix weapon fire rate being different for running under 60 frames per second sorry excuse me not under over 60 frames per second so there you go, as I said previously, the main stars of this particular update are definitely the black market and the multi-GPU support, so rejoice PC players, you can now make use of your second GPU. That is me done for this video, I'll see you next time.